What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we are showing how grading cards works in 2022 and going forward. So in the past, grading we know has mainly involved handheld tools like this. So human eye, a lot of things like that. So that's cool and all, but actually some big news dropped today and Derek Jeter, yes, Derek Jeter, one of my childhood heroes growing up and entrepreneur Brian Lee launched Arena Club. So really interesting stuff that we've teased a few times in the past, and actually they're introducing a whole new way to grade, buy, sell, and trade trading cards. So what we're gonna do here today actually is I have a few cards in front of me. We're gonna compare their computer grading and kind of show it in comparison to traditional grading. So I'm gonna use these tools and my own eye and see what I can find, and then we're gonna grade these cards and show the process in this video and see how it compares. So speaking of Jeter, we actually have a video coming soon with him. So once again, one of my favorite athletes of all time, someone I grew up looking up to, and I just love him so much. It's so cool. We're gonna have a video coming with him, so stay tuned, do some fun stuff, and a lot of things I think you guys will be excited for. So stay tuned for that. Down below in the description is actually a uh, link to Arena Club and my code Pacman there. So when you use that code, some cool things. Number one, you get $10 off your first grading order of $50 plus. And then anyone who uses that code up until the end of this month is entered to win a signed Derek Jeter jersey number, a really cool piece, which I'll show on the screen here. And we'll have that given away to one of the people who uses the code there. So nice little extra prize, definitely check it out. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff going on uh, the next kind of month or so and going forward and a lot of awesome things introduced to the card world. But now what we're actually gonna do is turn the camera over here and we're gonna take a look at these four cards I have here on the table. We're gonna see what we can find imperfection wise or perfection wise. And then we're gonna put our eye test to the computer test and see how it compares. So we're starting here with the curry actually. This is Lucky Curry, channel favorite. And I'm gonna look closely at this one. Gave it a brief look over, but here's the light shining on the card. So there we go. Now as far as the surface goes, I don't see anything there. Looks uh, pretty good to me. Same thing with the back surface for our base Lucky Curry here. And this is Lucky Curry because it reveals a lot of redemptions that end up being really good for us. So the surface to me looks good. We actually have a light here to look for any imperfections and I've looked it over, it looks nice. Now centering as well, look on the back there. Centering looks pretty nice I'd say too, to me. So I actually took one of these and went like this and have a nice shot of the measurements, which is pretty cool, down to the smallest measurements. So centering looks pretty nice to me and the only thing I did notice with this is maybe a little bit of corner, corner wear. It was a base card, so yeah, I would say corners might possibly have something. But other than that, it looks pretty clean to my eye. I would hope everything else is, uh, is good with this one. Edges too. I mean, I don't notice any issues with these edges. I always protected Curry very well. And so overall, I think it's a clean looking card. And maybe, maybe just minor corners. But maybe that's me trying to find something. All right, there we go. Overall, I like the condition. Next up is uh, this Evan Mobley. So this is the cracked ice from the Blasters. And like the Curry, surface looks pretty nice to me, which is pretty uh, impressive considering usually the centering isn't the best for a lot of these ones. And the back is where it really matters because these are littered with issues. And I don't see too much either. Shining it in the light like so. Try to get that flash like that. That's where you can really see the imperfections. And I don't really see too much, which is good. Corners, to me, look pretty nice. And yeah, I like what I see from there, edges as well. I didn't notice really any too, too many issues. And then finally, the centering for this card. Back a little bit off, I would say. Mainly look at the front usually, and the front to me looks nice, centering wise. So there we go. Now here is one that I did find some issues with this is a Duarte. These die cuts are tough to grade. So this is three of 10, nice jersey number. Centering is a little bit off is one thing I saw. And then I also noticed that a uh, little bit of a edge ding right up there. Right up there, I don't know if we can get that, but a little something. There we go, a little edge ding. So that's what I saw from my look. A uh, lot of surface to get damage on these cards, but everything else looked clean to me as they, and you know, once again, just centering in the, uh, the edge there. So finally, this monster Darnold year, whatever, year four or something. And um, yeah, so surface to me looks good there. However, I see a little something on the back, which is small there, a little back imperfection. I can get that, there we go. And then um, looking at the corners, they're all right. Could be better, of course. Um, looks to be in okay condition. So the grade for this one will be interesting to see because once say it's perfect, centering is a little off. 
everything could have some potential issues. So we'll see how this goes, but um, we'll find out. Everything looks just solid to me and we'll see what the uh, computer thinks. So right before we get into the grading part of this, I wanted to answer some of the most important questions you guys are probably wondering right now. So we take computer grading. We're talking about the real deal here. Very high resolution scans and imaging are paired with advanced machine learning to give you a very fast, accurate, and consistent evaluation of your card. It eliminates a lot of the human error that could factor in with card grading. And then also this platform is very transparent. So every card graded gets a detailed grading report and I'll show you what the issues were, where the issues were, it actually highlights them exactly and very detailed explanation pretty much. So in addition to that, all cards are authenticated and there's also some of the grades down below. So the subgrades, there's nine five, there's perfect tens, some of the best of everything here. So I'll see that and feel free to pause it as needed. There are some of the grades and right here is the process. So thought who better to explain this than their site itself. And it actually is very simple and you can see the steps there and all that goes into it. So I'd input in a lot of these things. And in the past, I've had a lot of concerns with grading. I'm very happy to see a lot of those concerns answered here. So I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with that. Past issues or concerns have definitely been addressed. And we've seen here that card grading has definitely evolved a bit. So that's one thing that was very important to me. And I love to see that it has been addressed here. So now the grading fee or how much it costs to grade, you might be wondering how much that is. So grading is one of two prices. So it's $35 if you want to grade and return it to yourself as part of the launch special these prices are. Use my code PACMAN, it's even less. And then 25 to grade and vault. So you might be wondering, well, how does it work with tiers? There's no confusing pricing structures at all. It's one flat number. There's no upcharging for kind of value of cards. So if your card's a dollar, $10, $100, 1000 10000 those are the prices. 35 to grade and return to yourself, 25 to grade and vault and use the marketplace. So that's really awesome to see that upcharging is non-existent here and something that is absolutely necessary for card grading. So love to see that. That's a huge, huge part of grading here. And uh, yeah, that's the prices. So also vaulting right now is free at launch as well. So definitely take advantage of that. The marketplace, let's go to another tab. You'll see at the bottom here, that's part of the marketplace stuff, but wanted to go over some big things about the marketplace. The fees are definitely lower than we're used to traditionally. So I think a lot of people will enjoy that. Now trading. That is absolutely free. There's no cost to trade. It's one of the best parts of the hobby. It's tough to do, especially when you're not in person, whether you're across the world or right next to each other, you can trade quickly, you can trade for free. And that's something I love to see. It's just a really great part of this platform. And finally, customer service I want to touch on. So customer service, big thing, accessibility. So handling your cards, for example, it's monitored, it's recorded. You wanna make sure that it's safe and that no harm comes to your cards while it's not in your hands. And that's definitely a priority here as well. So responsibility, accountability for customer service. That's a big thing, often overlooked, but definitely a priority here. So ultimately, no matter what part of the platform you're using, we'll make sure it's the best experience and there's no concerns for you guys. So that being said, let's get into the grading part of this video. Okay, so one thing really cool about grading cards with Arena Club is if you choose to vault it with them, you get a little cool reveal like you see here where when you click the little button there, kind of like a 2K or a Madden pack opening animation appears and you get to see your card and reveal the grade like that. A little more fun, something a little different. So with that comes a very detailed grading report. So it shows you how and kind of where all the damage or any potential issues with the card were and specifically the spot on the card. Um, so it's gonna be really cool. Let's take a look at the grades and then let's go see uh, what each one got and, and why. All right, so first one up here, let's see what the grades are. All right, number one. So there we go, there's the animation. First one, not surprising, Duarte gets an eight. We did know that there was that uh, peeling and the surface, the surface also, let's see, got 7.5 so we'll check that one out it is jersey number though so that's still a nice thing for us and look how it spins around um yeah so the surface got 7.5 let's investigate why after but that's our first one the duarte uh, from crown to 10 reveal the next one shows us well we got a nine let's see why so we can go to the back and so edges get an 8.5 one thing I didn't see, but they'll show us why. I didn't really see too much with this one, um, but obviously, as we're about to find out, might be something I missed. So let's reveal the next one. There's the Mobley Ice from the Blasters. And Darnold got a 9.5. Let's see. All right, get to the back. So corners, 9. That's something to be expected because we did see some corner issues. Edges got a 10. Centering, 9.5 and surface, 9.5. So let's take a look at that one after. Let's take a look because I believe we pointed some things out on there. So let's see who was picked up. And next one up is Lucky Curry. Lucky Curry got a nine. Poor Lucky Curry. Let's see. 
what caused this nine. Surface and corners. Corners we did point out, and then additionally there was the surface and then the edges. So we'll see. Something that the human eye didn't, didn't catch in this case. So here are cards here, um, now that they've been revealed. Let's start with the first one, the Duarte. See our grading report. So, very cool here, you have the lines which outline and show, or scale, kind of the centering in this case. So horizontal, 48 to 52, got horizontal there, and then vertical is 51 to 49, so a little better. And then the edges here, here's we have some issues like right there, and you can zoom in on here actually. So on the right you see it says wear and moderate. So decent amount of wear there as you can see. Something I don't believe I picked up on when I looked at it, or not too closely, and then there's a little bit there too. Then here's the corners. We see that on the back there is some issues with these corners. There we are. Overall, the corners are a little bit soft and have some wear. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. So I like being able to see and get, I guess, a justified explanation as to why it got that. Uh, surface is the one that got a big hit. So let's see, the back has a little bit of something right there. This one got the lowest grade, so I want to look at this one the most. Some stuff here. You can kind of see that, I guess, spotting. All right, actually, yeah, that's exactly what it says. And then some uh, foil issues there. So overall, unfortunately, Mr. Duarte got an eight. And there's the uh, scratches, actually. Something I did not pick up on earlier. So multiple categories you can click on like that. Auto 10, though, and jersey number. All right, next card up, we have the Mobley Ice. Got a nine. Uh, centering was all right. Not too great on this side, but there we go. And then back, yeah, you can see pretty obvious there, but uh, edges. So edges. Took a quick look, as you can see here, actually, not too great. Uh, major wear in the top, where you can see it's all kind of like frayed. Something I didn't pick up, actually. I thought it looked fine overall. Then there's the back there, and so we have some corner issues there, front and back, and then the surface, some uh, spotting. And then there's the back there. So overall, kind of nine. Nice being able to zoom. Let's see how far we can zoom in. So, pretty far. And you can see these issues up close. So you can reset the position like that, and yeah, so it makes sense for the most part right there. Um, definitely saw the edges here that I didn't see there, so it does make sense there. And next up here is the Darnold. So we did notice some issues with this one. Let's take a look. Uh, centering, yeah, it's off-centered a uh, bit. So there we go. The back is not too, uh, too bad there. There's our centering, and then we get to our edges, which are very nice. A little minor wear. Nothing really too crazy, and uh, a little minor on the back, but once again, minor. Let's go to the corners here. Several minimal to minor issues. Uh, something we did know, got a nine. We pointed out that there's some corner issues, and there we go. So the top corner is the one I believe I saw a little bit of something with. As you can kind of see the discoloration right there. So as expected, and get to the surface, where we did see some stuff as well. Surface is lots of cover because it's very big takes up most of the card and there's some spotting right there now let's see the back uh yeah so we have those things we saw there there's a little line there i believe a little indent and then at least a little star five of them so yeah uh surface gets a nine five there it was overall minimal and then the auto there they actually gave us let's see a nice 10 thank you sam and uh there we go so this one got a 9.5 in plus and that leads us to the final one the curry front and back centering looks very nice. And as so well, our edges is solid, solid edges. And uh, you can zoom in there. Yes, you can see it's a little bit you know, misshapen, a little bit of wear on the edges. Not too uncommon with a paper contenders base that we've uh, used to reveal many redemptions. Now some corners, which I believe is the one I did mention. Yeah, some corner issues there uh, with this poor Curry who's seen many days in battle. And here is the back surface. There we go. So we have some minor spotting, just minor. Uh, front. All right. So poor guy is not doing too hot. Yes, a lot of uh, issues on the surface, which I didn't pick up myself. But there we go. So Curry, unfortunately, got a nine. Not so lucky anymore, which we have been saying. So he got a nine, which isn't bad. Um, but yeah, there's a lucky Curry who's now in a nice slab and that concludes it with Mr. Curry. Here are four cards graded and there we go in their slabs. What do you guys think of the slab too? Comment down below and 
there we go. I like it. Looks nice. I like the black. And there we go. So very fun. And here are the four we graded. What else should we grade? I like seeing this and we'll have to do a lot more. So there we go. Grading complete. So one option after grading, of course, is having a send back to yourself. But another option after grading is vaulting. So these cards, I've come to vault here. And when you have your cards vaulted, you can transact with them in the marketplace. So nice and easily, much at the highly secure vault here. And we're gonna go take a look inside. All right, so I'm here with the CEO and founder of Arena Club, Brian Lee here. Hi. So you wanna tell us a little bit about the marketplace and vaulting as a whole? Absolutely, we're super excited about Arena Club uh, and allowing individuals such as yourselves to vault with us. By allowing us to vault your cards, we will create these digital depocs, digital proof of claims that you can buy, sell, and trade your card instantly and a very fast clip. Awesome. Now I understand we have some cards that were pulled from their usual spot to showcase here, right? Absolutely. I'm going to show you some of, some of our better cards. Yeah. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. So you see some of these cards. You got the Otani. So Super Factor Otani's. That's the quick first one that caught my attention. You've got this Lewis Hamilton down here, this 2006 Futera card. And then one that follows me everywhere I go that we don't have yet. LeBron, the black refractor. This is the nine. And this Jordan. Gretzky, of course. So good mix of stuff here, and not just all super high-end stuff. Pretty much everything you can find. So we have the '93 Topps Gold Jeter rookie. Now, this is the Arena Club slab. That's a ten there. Now, I noticed they're not all Arena Club here. So we have SEC, PSA, BGS, right? That's right. At Arena Club, you can send us your slabs from PSA, Beckett, SGC, or CSG, and we're glad to vault all those slabs. Awesome. So these cards here are part of over 10,000 and hundreds being my own and more being added every day uh, are some of the ones available right now on Arena Club. So links down below if you're interested. And once again, there's more being added all the time. So definitely keep checking it out. So there you have it, guys. All the uh, grades revealed and showing the process too, comparing where you can see the issues that were detected as opposed to sometimes in the past we did not see anything. So it's good to see that. I really like it. Comment your thoughts and reactions down below. And the description of this video is my code as well as the link to join us for yourself and take part in the action. So a lot of cool stuff going down. I'm really excited for the future of grading and how this can evolve in the long run. So uh, really cool stuff to see and very exciting. So once again, let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think? What do you think uh, could be improved? What did you like? What do you not like? And you're very interested in the feedback overall. And of course, make sure you check out my showroom and others where we have uh, the cards that I pull, cards from my collection that are all available for trade, make offers, uh, buying, things like that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff coming down the line. Definitely stay tuned. Make sure you enter the giveaway. Best of luck. And that's us, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.